Ultrafiltration is a membrane fil filtration technology process that is used to remove particulate matter or suspended solids, turbidity, and viruses. So this is an example of an ultrafiltration module cutaway, and there are thousands of these hollow fibers inside. So each fiber is covered in small pores, which have a pore size down to 0.01 micron. And so anything larger than that pore size is retained on the outside of the fiber, and the clean filtrate water and anything dissolved passes through the fibers. And so the pressure that it operates at is around 35 psi, so it's a low pressure membrane filtration technology. And these fibers are all potted within an ultrafiltration module. And then what Westec does is we take this ultrafiltration module and integrate it with all of the rest of the pumps, valves, instruments, and controls onto a skid for a fully functional ultrafiltration system. So where ultrafiltration is used to remove particulate matter, reverse osmosis is used to remove soluble or dissolved particulates from the water. And this is done where a high pressure is applied which counteracts natural osmotic pressures and it forces the reject, it forces the concentrated solids to be rejected and the clean permeate water to pass through. This is an example of an RO element cutaway. So you can see that the membrane is a flat sheet and it is spiral wound around the center tube and the water flows in a cross flow direction. So as the water flows across the surface of the membranes, the high pressure forces the clean permeate to the center, and then all of the dissolved contaminants, such as hardness, TDS, chloride, sulfates, and other contaminants are retained on the outside, and then that concentrated reject is flushed out to waste. And just like UF, Westick will take these, these elements and couple them with all of the other required ancillary equipment into a fully functional reverse osmosis system. So there are a lot of applications that are a good fit for ultrafiltration or RO, so let's start on the municipal side. Because ultrafiltration is an absolute barrier and you get guaranteed removal of turbidity, bacteria, and viruses, it's excellent for municipal drinking water applications, and it can also be used for wastewater reuse applications. When reverse osmosis is used on the municipal side, it's typically for softening if you need to remove hardness from the water, just to soften the water for drinking water. On the industrial side, there's also a lot of applications where you could consider using both technologies. So ultrafiltration is used in process water treatment, mine water treatment, industrial wastewater, and in the power market where you would have particulate removal first, and then you would follow with reverse osmosis for a second process where you need to remove additional dissolved solids such as sulfates, chlorides, selenium or other contaminants of concern. So typically on the industrial side you would see ultrafiltration followed by reverse osmosis in order to, to fully treat the process required. 